uh, obviously being in IT where you're like, where you care about security. So that's kind of what I was looking for, like having an IT tool that could also work for our other departments. Offboarding could be an hour of time. For an onboard, it could be 30 to 45 minutes each. So if we have 10 onboards in a week, which you know we're growing pretty quickly, so that could happen, that's quite a bit of time that we're spending just adding accounts. We started using Zapier a lot for a lot of our process, a lot of like, oh, you know, notifications and creating tickets and stuff like that. But when we were looking more for in-depth offboarding and onboarding flows and just thinking about the long-term IT uh, roadmap for what we want to do, it just seemed too limited. Pretty quickly, we realized that it was going to be too limited for us. And, you know, if there's a new employee, we there's probably three or four departments that are involved. You know, it's like facilities, HR, IT, hiring manager is also involved. Depending on their department, we would enter all that information into, you know, by, de by default, at least 10 applications. And then it could be up to 50 applications that we're adding this information to uh, manually. So that could take an hour per person or more. And things get missed too. I think it's another problem we just would miss thing we would get halfway through maybe and totally forget that we were working on it and if we didn't check by Friday then on Monday the person could be missing some of their applications um, and some other things that they require when they first start. I think number one criteria was like fully automating the onboarding and offboarding flow for us or fully automating, you know, 90% of it. So that was like the biggest criteria was just getting these two workflows out of the way um, because that's where we spend most of our time doing um, manual work. It would be nice to have, you know, try to get other parts of the company to use this app, but it was more about failed process and um, security concerns and miscompliance and stuff like that that eventually drove it through. So I, I worked with Amelia at my last company and uh, when I started here at Chow Now, said, hey, like I'm at Mercado now or something like that. And um, that's why we started looking into it. I mean, we use Zapier, but we just figured that would be too limited for what we were trying to do. Like Better Cloud is very IT focused. You're not setting up Better Cloud to eventually integrate your sales team and other departments. Like you would just use it for IT. I like Mercado because I feel like it's more open platform to the whole company eventually using it for the long term like a good solution to eventually get more use out of it. Um, it just seemed more enterprise grade than Zapier and then still it seemed a little bit more polished than um, Better Cloud. The development that goes into Workado is more focused on a broader range of, of things that you can do with it. Like um, an application approval process, also creating tickets from within Slack. So now we like we're setting up the work bot to do these things. We did have it before with Zapier. It was a little bit more limited in what we could do. So I think now we can make it more customized to how we want it. Tickets from Slack, you know, like for our department, for we do work with Salesforce department internally. So like our sales department would have um, a work bot that creates tickets for them. We would like to bring that all into Workado. Mm -hmm.